I'm over and roll, roll Solo when I solo cup I roll up three bucks and a lot of bottles If you don't know what you win, I throw bones Turn up on the skeleton, don't sit in my front Hey guys and welcome back. So I thought I'd do a video because I haven't done one since, well I don't think I've done one since I had all the issues with this computer. So I thought I'd give you a rundown on the editing rig slash 3D printer build. Um, so this will pretty much run my entire 3D printer setup and everything. So we've got two displays. <coughs> um, so I didn't really need to blow all the money on the keyboard and the mouse and that. But, I don't know, I just like it. So, PC-wise, we've got the Corsair Carbide Speco 6 case. Now, I'll give you a rundown of the issues I have with this case and why currently the glass panel's off. I'll sort of explain things. So, internally, the blue lighting makes it hard to focus. We've got two sticks of RGB, um, pretty sure they're 3600 megahertz. RAM, we've got the um, Ryzen 7 2700X with the Wraith cooler, we've got a GTX 1060 um, ASUS graphics card with the triple fan setup. Only reason I went triple fan is I actually like it, like it fills the case, it actually looks like a graphics card. I hate, I've had small cards in the past and they're just, yeah, not my thing. Um, we've got the Gigabyte B450 Aurora's Pro gaming motherboard or elite motherboard. Um, pretty much anything that came with lighting, I grabbed because I uh, back when I built the first computer a couple of years ago, um, I had LED strips in the case because I couldn't afford to buy um, the motherboards that had lighting and that kind of stuff. So now that everything's a lot cheaper, like the motherboard itself. Since I've built this computer, it's dropped about $150 in retail value. Um, because all these parts are now getting what your class is old. The um, new Ryzen series came out about four months after I built this computer. And it sort of phased everything out. At that point, there were new graphics cards out and all that kind of stuff. So, um, keyboard and mouse wise, we've got Razer. We've got Razer headset, so it's 7.1 Chroma. Quite an old headset, but it still works really well. Um, we've got the, what was this, the Mamba Elite mouse. Um, we've got, for memory, this is Chaos. Yeah, Chaos Chroma keyboard. And then we've got the Razer Goliath mouse pad, because I liked the, I used this one at my mates once, and I liked how it filled with the Razer gear. And that stupid stands standoffs come gone in. There it is. So I didn't really need to spend so much. Like I think the mouse cost me 150. The keyboard was up around 300, and the mouse pad itself was about 160. But I just like um, I've had Mitch, mismatch brands before where I've had. A Logitech mouse on a Razer mouse pad and so forth. And I just find that having um, Razer on Razer gear, you get a nicer feel. And I just like the look of having all Razer gear. <coughs> so the entire computer, um, the keyboard and everything is all RGB changeable. So I can pull up the apps and change the colours if I want to. I can change how the computer colouring looks. For some reason the RAM doesn't um, turn on sometimes, well the RGB for the RAM, so if I open that one, um, pretty sure that was the, yeah so this is Gigabyte, uh, the Aurora one to change all my graphics card colours, so I can go red and apply, and it will change my graphics card to red. Then if I come back over here and open RGB Fusion and open all this up, I can change all the the entire motherboard colour. So I'll change everything. So that changes that. It's now red. So the RGB strip at the back's just hooked into the one of the um, little RGB ports on the side. Um, but it gives you an idea. So for some reason. I don't know whether it's an app thing or but it won't let me 
like it drops the RAM. Generally, there's a RAM selector here, so you can change the color of your RAM, but sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know if it's a bug in the software or what the issue is. I've tried to fix it. I've checked everything inside the computer itself, like inside the softwares, and I can't see any missing files or things like that, but it gets annoying, but it does sort itself out. Um, Monitor-wise, this is a full 1080p um, monitor, and if I pull this up, it gives me all the other specs. So I got 16 gigabyte coming. So we got. It's a bit hard to focus. 3.2 gigahertz, 16 um, AMD Ryzen 7 2700 Elite. 8 core processor it is the X but for some reason it hasn't showed up in this it shows up in other softwares we've got 16 gigabytes of RAM 64-bit operating system and I am using Windows 8 because I already had it loaded on the hard drive um, at some point I will wipe the hard drive because it has I've loaded everything on the SSD and for some reason the SSD wouldn't support um, an operating system I don't know why but we've formatted it, we've tried everything, and it just won't hold the operating system. So I've ordered 2 terabyte worth of SSDs plus an M.2, which will be the boot drive. Um, so we'll be installing Windows 10 onto that. So if I go over here, all of these, I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Sort of. So every one of these is a 3D printing file that we've worked on. So we've got RC3, RC, uh, RX7, RC2. We've got plugs, so like um, Z32 MAF adaptive plugs. We've got Laurel bits. We've got gauge holders, um, GoPro mounts, D21 Navara vents. Because someone, one of my mates wanted one of those. 186 pieces, SJ4000 bits. So... That's just base stuff that we've already got. Um, then we're waiting on the... So I'll give you a rundown on the printer in a second. Um, and what's happened there. The company is just terrible to deal with. Um, so pretty much they're pre-done files. I've got a manual gear surround for a Sephiro, a left vent surround, a manual surround for a 32, all ready to be scanned. But I can't scan them until I got the 3D printer because it pretty much takes the file from the scanner, imports it to the 3D printer, prints it, and then makes a file afterwards so that I can re like a reprint file. So I need the 3D printer running and I haven't had time to do that. So yeah, um, this screen over here is just a, I think it's 1080 as well, but it's just a really old screen. I had the screen about four years ago on my other setup. Um, I just like two screens so I can be editing over here and have music or something over here. So I'll give you a rundown of the softwares. Um, if I open, so these are just the stuff. So I've got all these bits here that I run generally when I'm doing stuff. So I've got core temp, lighting, um, we've got fraps, handbrake, just basic, basic software if you've got a computer. Um, I haven't paid for any of it, so it's all just free software. So if I come in here, we've got... This is the editor I use. So it's called Resolve. But it's actually called DaVinci Resolve. For some reason, it's cut out the DaVinci part. And I have had issues with... Um, the computer Computer did a BIOS update, and it didn't like, the update didn't, wasn't supported by DaVinci, so I had to wait for DaVinci to update. And so sometimes it just has a hissy fit and doesn't want to work. So we'll load this up. Uh, so while that's loading, we'll come over here. So this is the um, 3D printer we brought. So this is what we'll be doing the first of our 3D printed stuff on. So um it's a pretty basic printer i paid 400 bucks for it i could have brought it out of asia like aliexpress for cheaper and i just in the end i decided i didn't want to spend the extra money and well i didn't want to risk the shipping 
because if I buy it from AliExpress and it shows up broken, then I got a whole returns policy that I have to pay for and shipping out of New Zealand back to Asia is really expensive. So you've got, it's a pretty basic setup, you've got a heater bed so things won't stick to it. Um, you've got your standard head setup which is common on most cheap, cheap 3D printers. So you got your X and Y axis. It's got a was it 20, 28 by twenty eight square meter square centimeter bed um, controller up here with all the buttons. You got your motherboard around the side. Now that is what broke. So I'll grab uh, new project. Uh, Sorry, I'm just doing something. There we go. <clears throat> so this is actually what has stopped the whole process of the 3D, 3D printing bits. So this is your 3D printing motherboard. It's pretty standard style for 3D printers. Um, most of the cheap ones run a motherboard like this. Uh, if I look, try to focus this. For some reason my camera is not focusing. One sec. So if I look right, so if I, actually I might just do it out of here. Right there, there's meant to be one of these. So these funny little heatsink things, right there. So what happened was I turned it on, um, it ran for about five minutes, did it, so it goes through a pre-cycle where it goes to the furthest corner, goes across, goes across, goes across, does the border, does a center pattern. And it finished, it was lifting the head, well, like lifting the boom up, and there was suddenly a pop and everything started smoking. So that's what broke. The company pretty much told me that they want me to strip the entire machine down and send it back to them in China, um, even though I brought it in New Zealand. So one day didn't support um, returns of this item for some reason. They didn't even have spare parts. So I had to go off my own back and buy a, another motherboard, which wasn't too bad, it was about $47, then the company didn't ship it, which I've gone through a couple of times, mentioned a few times before. So I brought another one, and hopefully this one will actually show up. Um, but that's pretty much why the 3D printing side of it hasn't been going ahead. Um, yeah, so that'll hopefully sort itself out in the next few weeks. So this is DaVinci Resolve, what I use for all my editing, it's pretty basic um, software, it's free, so if you're wanting to get into YouTube and you don't want to go pay for like Adobe Photoshop or whatever the other people have been using, um, it's better than Windows Movie Maker, which when I first started YouTube about five years ago, I had a channel that was pretty much gaming based I used to use because none of the software existed to me then. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty good setup. I can do, um, I've got a screen capture downloading at the moment, but I'll do a video coming up of editing a video for the channel. So if anyone wants to see how videos are edited and what we what I do to the videos, because I do cut a lot out, I change a lot of sound, sound stuff, um, a lot of effects, a lot things like that. So yeah, I'll give you a run through of that if you, in the future, um, but yeah, it's DaVinci Resolve, not sponsored at all, um, just free software that I thought you guys would enjoy, so, um, what else was there, I think I have, uh, nope, not this one, must be on the memory stick still, so I was going to pull up all the software for the, um, uh, actually if I do this, I do the this I do no we'll go R three two we want that one files so this will load up It might load up so you'll get a preview of what we're printing and let's 
but sometimes it doesn't work because it requires a 3D printer to be attached, like be plugged into your computer, and obviously I can't do that at the moment, so. <clears throat> Oh, right there. So, if I go over here, this is the, um, so it set the bed size for a completely different printer because I don't have one connected. But this is the, um, how do I put it, the cup holder that we'll be doing. Now there will be some changes made to it, so you've pretty much got a basic style this was so we've changed the um, so this was an open source file um, but we have made some changes to it so there were a few things that we didn't like um, the sizing was completely wrong so we measured up um, the sizing that could fit quite tightly so that um, the one the pre so the free source file for this was set too small so if you put it in it wriggled around so we actually increased the size so it's a pretty much a slide in a like quite firm fit um we're taking out the gdr logo and we'll be able to put whatever logo you want so if you have a company we can put a company name up there if you want your name or it's a gift for someone we can put that up there their number plate their car whatever um this part here is going to be filled in so we'll actually fill this piece in and the idea at this stage is to either turn it into a phone holder or to make it so if you run a um, charging cable underneath we'll be able to put a in there a wireless charging set um, piece so if your phone's in the holder it'll be facing on the back here so we'll set the charging port up um, you plug obviously you need to run a cable up to it on your own because we won't have your car here to do it for you, but I'll sort of, oh, it'll sort of be if oh, I tilt this like that. So pretty much on this face here will actually be flat. You'll have the wireless charging port in there. You'll have the phone stand. So when you put your phone in, you'll be able to charge it as well as have a drink in the holder. And we're actually going to make a slide that slots in. So that the when you put a drink in, if you're because we know like cans and cups and everything are different, completely different sizes. So you'll be able to have like a half half moon that hides in here, which will hold your cup firm. So it'll be a top and bottom half moon, to just to prevent you going around a corner or something like that, and the can coming out and spilling everywhere. Because I've had that before; it absolutely sucks. Um, Especially with the R33 not having any cup holders at all. So, trust me, if you've got an R33, that is coming. <laughs> but it sort of gives you a run through of what we're doing and a bit of a look at it. Um, so, colour options, we're pretty s much sticking to basic options at the moment. There will be, in the future, chances we will be able to um, match interior colours and things like that. So, you'll, the colour options currently will be black, white, silver, I uh, know, black, white, grey. And I do have access, well, I've got a guy in Japan at the moment sorting me out some of the, so if you have a Laurel for the vents around, they had um, different colour options, so he's going to sort me out plastic that semi-matches the colour so we'll be able to t print a few and test them and see how that goes because I want to try and match the factory interiors as much as I can because it'll look really bad having a nice grey or black interior with a red vent surround or whatever. So these will pretty much match the center console colors which are real easy to do. Um, texture wise they will be as printed so pretty much you, if you want a clean finish it will include instructions on how to finish it 
um, just simply for the fact that we won't have we don't have the time to do it at the moment. Um, so there's only me and a mate of mine working on this project. Um, so I'm fronting all the money and he's helping with the computer stuff that I struggled to do. But so pretty much in the future we'll be doing the clean finish. We'll be able to sand them. They'll be primed. They'll be painted. Um, and that kind of stuff. But if you pretty much that will increase the price. So there will be two pricing options. There will be standard straight out of the printer. And then there will be sanded, finished, filled, all that crap. And it'll be nice and finished. So you'll have the standard cup holder as you see it here. Well, except the phone holder. Um, we can blank this piece in completely. Or there will be the option with the wireless charger, which will be coming further down the track because I have to source a supplier for wireless chargers. That isn't going to cost me both my kidneys. Um, so I'm sorting. I'm sort of working on that one at the moment to get a supplier. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, if you did, like, subscribe. Uh, it's almost the end of 2019 and we've got, hang on, let's just pull this up and we'll see how many we've got. Because I had some people tell me I was bullshitting when I told, did this last time. Um, right, we'll go here, we'll go channel. Yeah, if you want to know what I watch, there it is. Um, your channel. So, in 2019, how have we done? Uh, YouTube Studios. Okay. If you've never seen the channel before, that was it. So, we want to go videos. Should we want to analyze? We want to go the last... Oh, we want 2019. So, in 2019, we have had 10,000 views, 324.5 hours watched, 84 subscribers, and this one here. So, anyone who thinks I'm doing this for profit, there isn't any profit in this. And if you're saying, oh, it's just because you've done something to it, we will go here. We will go lifetime. Yeah, let's jump very little. But... You get the point here? Not making any money. None at all. So, back to 2019. So pretty much, as you can see, there were 7,000 views before like this year. So we've actually done really well. I'd like to do a big thanks to you guys. Um, without you guys supporting this channel, I wouldn't have got this far. Um, there's been so much stuff in my life personally that has I've sat here and gone is YouTube really something I want to continue doing but um, the more like I check this every few days so it may sound weird to you guys but the more like I see this number going up and up every day like if I check it now and then I check it in a couple hours it'll go up by who knows how many views I might do it if I go oh, I'm on the wrong piece but See if it doesn't. Nope. Didn't do it that time. But, um, yeah, so it's sort of, I love, I come and check this out, and it's really cool to see you guys. Like, I haven't uploaded anything in two weeks, and in the last 48 hours, there's been 64 views. So, I'll try to focus that a bit better for you. So, it's 64 views in 48 hours. So, in the last 48 hours, you guys have watched the Mark X video, the 28 video, which I will be revisiting this. Um, yeah. Gigabyte Aurora's X470 Fault. Um, I'm actually curious to see what other videos you've viewed in the last 48 hours. So, we have oh, Sandblaster. Amazing that one did so well. I wasn't expecting that, considering it was a cheap Sandblaster. Um, Bluebird 910 build. 28, 20D plus D. Damn shame that card's gone. Yeah, more 28. 28. So it sort of gives you guys an idea of what you guys watch and how it looks from a creator's point of view when I check what you guys have watched. So 
Oh, yeah, here we go. So if I go uh, yesterday, there were four views between 9 and 10 a.m. There were... So it sort of gives me, when you guys were watching, there was nothing between around 11 and 12 p.m. Someone was up early watching my videos, whoever you are. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, so it sort of gives you an idea of what it looks like from creator's point of view. Um, last 60 minutes. So someone in the last 60 minutes watched that video. <laughs> But if you're near the channel, like and subscribe. Um, with this is something I want to continue doing is like showing you guys behind the scenes of my editing and the YouTube channel itself. There's so much stuff in here I haven't um, done, like the whole monetizing process to make money on YouTube. Um, so yeah, it sort of gives you. Um, an idea of what you what there is behind the scenes like subtitles comments analyze playlists there's so much stuff in here that even I haven't visited yet because I'm more more there yeah, I'm more interested in continuing to produce content and all that kind of stuff so I hope you guys enjoy the video um, like subscribe jump over to the Instagram I'll be linking that below because um, I post a lot of stuff on there and hope you enjoy your Christmas, if Christmas is today or whenever this video goes up because my internet sucks. Um, enjoy New Year's, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys in a couple days for the next video. Um, I've got until the 13th off so there will be more content coming out. There will be a lot of stuff happening around the workshop and the builds. Um, oh, you won't be able to see it but the skyline's actually at my house for once so I've got got the hours grinding out on that so yep have a good one guys enjoy your break and i'll catch you later